Rachna and I'm back with a new lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about phrasal verbs using ask. Okay. Now, what are phrasal verbs? They are a verb followed by a preposition. Okay. So, more often than not, they're followed by a preposition. They come together to form a mini phrase and they entirely lose their meaning independently. All right. So, we're going to take a look at phrasal verbs with ask. The first one, ask after. Now, your ask means to inquire, okay, but when it comes with ask after, it means to ask about someone's well being. So when you want some information about someone, you want to know how they are doing, how has life been for them, that means you are asking after them. Please remember it is not literally, you know, it does not mean literally that you are asking after someone else's ask. It means that you are inquiring about their well-being just to see how life is going for them. Okay. So for example, uh, well, I met Maria yesterday and she was asking after you and I told her you are doing just fine. That means Maria was inquiring about you that how life is going for you. So remember when you ask after someone you are inquiring about a person's well-being. You just want to know how life is going for them. Okay. The second one ask around. Now ask around means to ask for help or information. Okay, so now you're at a new place. You don't know where's the latest cafeteria. So what do you do? If you want the direction, you ask around to see if someone can help you locate that place, right? So now remember when you're lost, you need to ask around to see if people could help you find that place. So when you ask around, it means you ask someone or you ask for help or information about a place. All right, the next one, ask for. Now, when you ask for something, it means you want something. Well, yesterday I went to this restaurant and I asked them for chicken, but they brought me beef. So I asked them for chicken. That means I wanted to have chicken, but they brought me beef. So when you ask for something, it means you want something. Okay. So well, if you don't have a pen, you ask your classmate, you ask for a pen. That means you want a pen. Ask for also has one more meaning. It means getting yourself into trouble. Well, I'm sure a lot of you don't do your homework, you don't do assignments and then you know what happens? You ask for trouble. That means you're getting into trouble. You bring yourself into a difficult situation. So if you're walking, you know, down the lane alone late at night, it's risky because probably you may be just asking for some problem or asking for trouble. So remember, it does have a negative meaning. It means getting yourself into some problem or into trouble. Okay, so remember ask for has two meanings to want something and to get into trouble. Okay, the next one ask for someone. So now when you ask for a particular person, it means that you want to speak to them. Okay. So you call a company and you want to speak to the vice president. So you ask for him. All right. So I tell you, if you are in trouble or if you have any problems, just ask for Henry. That means you need to contact Henry. You need to speak to Henry. So ask for someone means that you need to speak to a particular person. So now let's take a look at some more phrasal verbs using ask. The next one, ask someone in. Now this means to invite someone into your room or your house. OK, 
okay well uh, for this one all I could advise you guys is when you have an unknown person at a doorstep don't ask him in don't ask them in it's risky they're unknown so let them be there don't ask them in that means do not invite someone into your room or your house okay the next one ask someone out well of course the most common one and the most favorite one for this one is when you ask someone out that is when you propose someone on a date it also means to take someone out you know probably out for a drink it could be dinner okay well um, if someone asks you out and if you agree you're lucky just remember you do not pay the bill okay so when someone asks you out either they propose you or they just ask you out for a drink or a dinner or just brunch probably so do not pay for the bill okay the last one ask someone over now this is similar to ask someone in this means you invite someone over to your house you ask them to come visit your house Well, so sometimes you're tired, you can't go out, you know, you've had a long day at work and your friend really wants to catch up with you. What you do, you ask her over for a cup of coffee. So you say, hey, I'm tired, I can't get out now. So come over for a cup of coffee. That means you invite her over to your place for a cup of coffee. Okay, friends. So these are the seven phrasal verbs that we've learned using ask. And this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'm sure now you will be able to use these phrasal verbs in your day-to-day -day lives without any confusion. Alright? I'll see you soon in the next class. Till then, take care and bye.